Uh, just getting a bit of gear sorted. Uh, the boat's pretty much uh, ready to go. And I'll pack up and hit the water. Should be pretty good out there this morning. Nice and calm for a change. Shallow. Send me off. Get the gang? Yeah. Oop, go catch me some dinner. Okay. <laughs> I'm not back by sunset. Better be back before that. Start dinner without me. <laughs> This is the exact spot where I grew up fishing. I don't come back to this place enough. It's, uh, it's awesome. I love it. We used to stay at Coal Mine Beach Caravan Park when we were kids growing up. And I think I was eight years old when I got my first tinny. And back then the old man used to let me and my mate Tommy and that and my cousins just cruise around this inlet catching herring and whiting and whatever. Um, all day. Uh, yeah, it's awesome. It's a great spot, brings back um, heaps of memories. But yeah, uh, a little story is I was around 10 or 11 years old and off the little jetty off there. Uh, some people have fished here for years and decades ago will know that every now and then you get big blue manners in here, big blue manor crabs. And there was this huge blue mountain crab on the jetty, or well, not on the jetty, but underneath the jetty, eating the prawn heads that we'd chucked over. And um, so to catch him, I just stuck my rod down in through the water, had a sinker on the end, and just wrapped a heap of line around him, pulled him out of the uh, water. And uh, to this day, I've never caught a blue mountain crab that big before. It was 103 centimeter from claw to claw. It was huge. Come on! <laughs> I just threw the lure out. I think it's just a little herring. Oh, there's heaps of them there. I might get another feed of herring then. Oh. oh, good size. Nice herring to start the morning off. You can add out the boat. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I'll have another troll past here. Oh, yeah, we're on again. Ah, oh, there's millions of them there. Holy shit. Oh, on again. Radio. I've got the uh, Great Northern Herring Slayer lure on, and uh, we'll give that a crack. Watch this thing just dominate. It's gonna dominate. Great Northern beer can lure. Dominating. 
possibly the first. Oh yeah. Oh, he's off. Oh, I destroyed the lure. <laughs> oh, I've got to redesign that. But I'll just bend him back into shape again. Yeah, definitely gonna go back to the drawing board on this one. All right, keep sending it out there. Yep, the one again. Yep. Great Northern beer can. Oh yeah. Stay on this time. Possibly the first ever landed Great Northern beer can. Oh, the spinners come off. It's all good. Oh, I dropped him. Ah. Oh, we're still hooking up on fish. <laughs> it's pretty destroyed. I uh, might have to go back to the drawing board on that one. I'd seen to hook up, but um, they wouldn't stay on. So I might go back to one treble and less um, moving bits of beer can. Maybe just go one whole piece. Yeah, it was uh, out about four hookups, but lost them all at the boat. into the boat ramp, pack up, uh, yeah, and have a bit of a crack tomorrow. Oh, come on, come on now. A little rim. <laughs> I thought I'd pop down here this morning, have a look. Got me cuppa, and it is lovely. Man, glass off. Couple of fellas out there fishing. You can't. Yeah, I'll get me shit sorted and um and head out there. Yeah, it's our last uh, full day at Warpole. So I lost my favorite little Halco um, bib lure yesterday on something in the channel. So today's little RMG, I don't know what it is, little bib lure. Uh, I'm just gonna chuck it out in the shallow bit here and we're going near the um, mouth of the Franklin. And then when we get a bit deeper, I've got the old crusty laser 10 gram. Kel's gonna catch break a PB flathead of 49 centimeter. Don't reckon. Uh, no PBs, I don't think. No PBs today, she says. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna head over near this uh, sandbank and just trawl the edge of that. Might pick up a flathead or something like that. I've never caught a whiting on a lure, so might be a day of first. Never know. We'll give it a crack. Yeah, well, no action upriver, so we got a couple of hits. 
out near the channel. So we'll um, head back that way and see if we can land something. Hell's on. Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> little Just Heather. a little Heather. It's a better one. Slightly. <laughs> yeah, we're up near going towards the mouth of the Nornlup Inlet where I was yesterday. Yeah, we'd have a little trawl up here for a bit. And Jed's on the board. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, a bit bigger. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You too. Uh, <laughs> Gonna try the uh, jigging method. Yep. Yep. <laughs> then there you go. Oh. oh. Slayers. Fuck yeah, look at this massive fire. Oh, got my fingers in it. <laughs> Alright, we've got um, 11 herring, uh, so we just need like a dozen or so. So, yeah, no, a couple of decent sized ones, but other than that, they're all just about average size. But there is millions of them there. I have lost my beer can lure. I don't know where it's gone. So next lure we're trying is just uh, it's a five gram from Big John's Jigs. Big John's Jigs. Chuck that on, single hook. Uh, and just jig that up and down. I 
or need one more herring, do you reckon you can um you reckon you can do it? As long as you haven't set me up by putting No, nah, that's Big John's juice. Just depends if the captain can put me in the right spot. Always. That's all I'm good at. Thousand herring. I got the edge. Uh, so this is going to be my first attempt of making bread. Uh, it's just going to be a flat bread, pretty basic, and um, see how it goes. Uh, you don't need any yeast or anything, just um, some plain flour, uh, a bit of milk, some salt, and some butter. And that's about it. Add the salt. Now I'm just going to mix all that up. Uh, I just need this for two minutes. And once you've kneaded it for two minutes, wrap it in cling wrap and just let it rest for 30 minutes at room temperature. You have divided it into six bits rolled them out, I'm just going to flatten each one out kind of deal and get the pan ready and cook them it's two to three I reckon repeat Should puff up dramatically, it says. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is going to be like pancakes. You fuck, you fuck the first one all the time, eh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, we've got a bit dramatically. of puff, puffing up dramatically. A little bit of Bernie, and then they say uh, when you're done, you can wrap them in a tea towel, keeps them a little bit moist. Puffing, and you turn it. Done. Been saving this bad boy for the last night of this trip. 
um, had a whole crayfish in me angle that's been taken up half the space in the bloody thing and I uh, should have eaten it the first night but um, that's the tail off it uh, it was a two and a bit kilo semi jumbo just have crayfish with um, flatbread that's all I'm doing with that just a bit of butter salt and pepper chuck it in there Damn, that's huge. And there you go. Jumbo cray tail. Homemade flatbread. Bit of cupy. Now so we've just been measuring up the mattress. I think it's still the original mattress from the 80s <laughs> so um yeah we've uh we've decided to get a new one made fuck it um yeah so kel's been on the phone to a lady <laughs> that's in perth that can make a custom mattress for us um within the next two weeks which will we'll pick up when we um start heading north and we'll ditch this one Probably on the side of the highway like everyone else does. <laughs> and, uh, no, we will not. Oh no, we won't. So that'd be pretty good. Um, but yeah, we just bloody been... awesome because fuck, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's sort of got this big That's um awesome. W pattern in it. It's terrible. Yeah, it's a bloody lovely day this morning. And just gonna have a oh, fuck, that's hot um cup of coffee this morning and. Pack up the boat, D-Max, everything else. One thing I have to say, if you are, if you're at Coalmine Beach Caravan Park and you rely on solar, <laughs> um, it's not going to happen. You have Take to go. Outside. You have to go power because you just got it's just that all day, which is beautiful. Yeah, but not good for solar. So yeah, we'll um, pack up and hit the road. Uh, we've got about. Um, I'm not too sure. Maybe 300 kilometers, maybe less. That's 257 kilometers. <laughs> yeah, it used to take you all night to get here. <laughs> yeah, when we used to travel here as kids, Dad had an old G60 Nissan, and um, yeah, it was like a whole day trip to go get there. Yeah, I used to think when I was a kid, this would be like the other side of the world <laughs> to get here, and it was only 250 odd k's. <laughs> Crazy. Um, yeah, he'd stop at every place along the way and stretch his legs. And he was younger than me. <laughs> 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 uh, funny dude. It'd be easier for me if I turn away to flee. Oh. But there's something moving on.
something holding on. Oh.